He's a spur, man. He's a spur. Are we having fun yet? Josh Primo, by definition, is a San Antonio Spur. This is the most Spursy thing I've ever read in my entire life. Now, before we talk about that really quickly, um, so we're going to be doing another prize. This is going to be the trivia prize for this month, and it's a Tim Duncan plaque in which I will send out a trivia link on the last Friday of the month in which Patreon and YouTube members will be able to enter it and play for the prize. So it's gonna be really fair and we're gonna to try to see who knows their Spurs knowledge, all right? So if you wanna enter that, just be a patron of YouTube member. All right, so let's get into this. So I read this and I don't know why I haven't seen this before, but I found this so intriguing. So let's just read this first part and I'm gonna say what I saw from this that I thought was pretty, pretty neat. And then we'll read the second part. So let's read this first part. So the question asked to Josh Primo was, you mentioned you are learning to get your teammates involved in finding them. Is that something you are working on? Facilitating and becoming a primary distributor? And he said, yes and no. Now this is where I was like, okay, I didn't know this. And maybe this is just my lack of knowledge of Alabama. So he said, in Alabama, I had a smaller role where I decided to take a step back. We had a lot of ball handlers on the team. They had the ball in their hands and they wanted to score. So I decided that I wanted to play off the ball and that's what worked for our team. And this and this, and, yeah, and this team, he's talking about the Austin uh, G League, is a little bit different and I'm ready for that. That's something that I've worked my whole life. I can do both, so that's how I play it. Now, what stood out the most to me out of this, out of this quote, this one quote, is that he said, he decided to take a step back now it might just be wording i might be looking too into it lord knows that i look far into things too much sometimes but when he said he decided it i i didn't i didn't think that college worked like that and i'm i'm pretty sure he's not saying like oh he just accidentally said that he decided because he said it again in this quote that basically yeah i decided that i wanted to play off the ball and that's what worked for our team. This is one of the most unselfish. Because I knew. I knew that he was a catch and shooter at Alabama. I knew that. But I didn't know that he purposely made that decision. I just thought that it was just a coaching decision. And it doesn't really necessarily sound like that. It sounds like he came up with that. Or at least he, instead of being the primary uh, ball, ball handler and realizing that a lot of guys on his team want to score and they want the ball in their hands, he took a step back. He, I mean, I, don't, I know this is a strong word. But he jeopardized his 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 pick in the draft to do that. That is the most Spurs thing I've ever seen, dude. Like he literally is one of the most unselfish young players I've ever seen. That's really incredible because we're watching him right now, and he can control, like he can handle the ball. Okay, he <laughs> he he has some really nice handles, and he has a really nice shot, and he could easily just show that off. But I knew with the Spurs, obviously, Pop is going to put you in your place. You be in this role, you be in that role, and that's our best chance of winning. Um, but when it comes to Josh Primo, I didn't know that he made these crucial decisions in college like that, um, where he elected to, to take a step back, where he elected to be the catch and shooter, where he elected to let his other teammates shine. That is huge to me, in my opinion. That is huge. All right, so here's the next quote. Now that you are uh, thrown into a primary uh, ball handler role, how is it coming along? Are you picking it up quick? He said, I'm learning to be the primary ball handler. It's probably the first time I've been in a situation where I'm the number one ball handler on the team. So I'm learning to deal with that. And I think it's coming offensively. I think the assist to turnover ratio isn't good right now, but I think I'm working on it. So one thing I really do like about this quote is he's self-aware. He's very self-aware. Um, where he will mention, he brought it up. Yeah, the assist to turnover ratio isn't good. So he knew that, hey, I need to work on that. That's something that I'm not really great at right now. And I'm turning it over too much. And yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm better than that. But he also handled it, handled the, the question with a little bit of confidence as well that, yeah, I'm learning. Um, but, you know, I'm willing to do whatever. I can do whatever the team needs me to do. But yeah, uh, look, look, what I'm really impressed by was this. And if any Alabama fans are out there that knew about this or could elaborate on it in the comments, I'm, I'm not forcing you to comment, but please help us out, okay? Anybody, anybody that watched a lot of Josh Primo in Alabama, 
please please tell me about this because i did not know that he made the decision to do that i just thought it was a oh you're really young so we're gonna put you in that position i didn't know it was a oh no he made he he elected to do that that that's incredible to me i don't know it's incredible but anyways guys that's that's all i got for this video that's just what stood out to me so you guys can tell me what you think um are you impressed do you think that i'm looking too into it just let me know but yeah um you guys want to support the channel as always two dollars a month i'll give it to you later until next time deuces